Hello and welcome to another episode of DBC and Seek. I'm your host, DB, and today we're going to be talking about a Micah headset, specifically the ones I'm using right now. Specifically the newer NW700 and the Superlux HD6A1. Yep. So, as let me break it down as I finally just got past the intro. Um... The mic, as sounds as you hear right now, it sounds very clean, sounds very audible, picks up very beautifully with a cardio pattern, and it is a, not a USB microphone. Yes. It is a 3.5 millimeter jack microphone, so you will need a phantom power, or what I did in the beginning, is I just plug it directly into my sound card. It will work. You will have to crank that bad boy in the uh, microphone gain and the microphone boost up quite a bit, but it will work. And I have done it. You'll probably have to turn it all the way up to 100 and all the way, uh, the gain all the way up to 100, and you'll probably have to turn the microphone boost all the way up to plus 30, but it will work. But I strongly recommend something like the newer NW100 Phantom Power which will set you back between like 15 20 bucks and you'll have to pick up another uh, cable to connect that but no problem with that uh, yeah it, it it's good it works it sounds good my terminology it sounds better than my terminology but it works and yeah, I had to fiddle around with it, but you know, that's what it is. It's a little bit more hands on than a USB microphone, but it sounds really good. Uh, specifically for things like I do, which is more like talking and commentary, it just has, works just beautifully. Beautifully works, I would say. Yes, and the headphones. Moving on to the headphones with the move my notes over here. The Superlux HD 681, specifically the ones with the red trim, as you might notice right now. Now, these headphones do have more treble than their slightly higher price brethren. See if I can. Then the Superlux HD 668B, which. I, I cannot recommend those enough either because from all accounts they sound just like these only more balanced audio, more balanced bass, more balanced treble. They're just great apparently. I cannot full hardly give my recommendation but if they sound anything like this I would love them. I can however give my full recommendation for these because they sound tremendous and because for someone like me that loves a little bit more treble they hear the vocals and they hear people with heavy accents to make out the little tiny syllables and pronouns. It matters. So I can give a full recommendation on that in effect. I don't know about music. I have been pleasantly happy because I like more trouble in my music. And contrary to what some of the reviews have said, I do not find this as treble blasting. I have heard treble blasting, these are not treble blasting. These are slightly more. The bass is there, it's slightly faded. It's what you call pretty flat with about a quarter turn treble up. If, if that's too much, you make the adjustment call. So, this is actually my go-to recording setup. These two things. And I have had nothing but success with them. And I love them. And I, of course, use you know, pop filters for the pa and the ba and all the other things that I would otherwise spit out towards the microphone. The microphone. Yo, oh, no, stop, don't. So instead, the microphone's like, stay a while, listen. So. This is how the mic sounds. I can told you how the headphone sounds. It's kind of hard to talk about the headphones because you can't hear it yourself. 
but believe me, it's it sounds good. It sounds very very good with price. Now let's talk about pricing because that's important. So let's go back over to the uh, microphone. If you just want to pick up the microphone, excuse me. If you just want to pick up the microphone. The microphone will set you back just under 20 bucks, give or take around 20, 22 dollars, give or take tax and shipping and whatnot. Which for 20 bucks for something that sounds like this, mommy, probably butchering that too. Sounds good. Price is good. Now you can go, and I believe it's a 40 and 50. There's two bundles you can get with this with this mic right here. You can get a uh, $40 bundle, but I believe it comes with pretty much everything you need, except for an XLR cable, an extra XLR cable, and a phantom power supply, which means you're going to ta take that, for the meantime, and plug it into your tower. Tough joke, but tough thing, but eh, tough love. Then you just buy it at a later date, that's what I did. Uh, later down the road, I noticed that they had like a around a fifty dollar give or take uh, bundle. I believe these are the prices, um, and the, that bundle comes with everything the previous bundle comes with, except for it comes with another XLR cable and a phantom power supply. I would strongly recommend that bundle unless for some reason you're very tight of money, and that seems to be a very good start because you get the boom arm, which is what I'm using. You get a, uh, I don't have it with me, but you get a pop filter that goes over the mic. You get a pop filter that goes in front of the mic. You get XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapter, and you get the mic. And you get this little anti vibration mic holder stand that goes to the boom arm. That's everything you get in the mic kit. This is a cheaper kit. And then, of course, you have to buy the Phantom Bosch Fly and the other XLR cable, or you get the other kit. Make your judgment call. Now, the headset, however. The headset will set you back... Oh, it'll set you back about 40 bucks. Now, the price on this has went up. Originally, way back when, this was about 25 bucks plus... Shipping, handling, so it was around thirty dollars with everything included, give or take. Now, before shipping, and handling, and this one says free shipping, but take it with a grain of salt because it's Amazon. Um, you are looking at around forty dollars, and then you add everything on top of that, so it's probably like about forty-three, forty-four dollars once everything's factored in. Still, not a bad deal if you look at. The quality of what you want, the quality of what's around, and when you realize that headphones to sound this good usually go around fifty dollars anyway and up. You don't really get the twenty and thirty dollar headsets that sound this good that are, and might I say, they're open back. I forgot to mention that these are open back headphones, so the sound stage is larger than a closed back head pair of headphone headset. Huh? Yeah, headphones. <laughs> so that is nice. Um, so the price has went up, but I feel that it's fine. It's reasonable. Um, other than that, you can always go, and I haven't done it, but you can always go and buy extra padding. You can get because the AK, the AK padding that so they have sold separately will fit on these. Shocker. They will fit. The AKG paddings, the nice fluffy and foam and whatever, they will fit on these. You can go and you can buy those for after ten, fifteen dollars or a really nice one, twenty dollars. And you can put these on and have a really nice comfortable pair of headsets. They also work with the more expensive version. This goes for about fifty bucks. So you can like whatever you can pick whatever one you want. I prefer the one with more trouble. Like me. So yeah, total together for what I have, because I got the bundle for around give or take around forty bucks or so, plus this, it's around eighty dollar set right here. 
and I think it sounds darn good. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little experiment. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thumbs down if you enjoy it. Leave comments down below and let me know what you think. And as always, I'll see you later. Peace.